Hey guys, it's Slim and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So today I'm gonna to be doing my July favorites. I was just about to say June, my July favorites. And I have a few things here that I wanted to show with you guys. And yeah, let's just jump straight into it. The first thing that I've been loving and it's on my lips right now, it is, I have like several of these, not this color, but several from the first collection. This is the Il Maquillage and Carly Bible lipsticks. This is her newest edition. This one is in Taurus. Mine did melt slightly because it is really hot in the UK. And I mean, do I have to say anything else? This, I need to get backups. And I always say that, but when I love something, I get multiple backups. I just have this thing where I need to have a lot of it. If you have not tried these lipsticks, you have to get your hands on it. I mean, it's a shame that they're limited edition, but these lipsticks are so, so comfortable, so creamy. They're so velvety and plush. It gives off a matte finish, but it makes your lips look super full. I can't describe how creamy and plush-like it looks. I truly have never used and had a lipstick like this before. I have several of her other ones. Like, I think I have, yeah, I have six already from her first collection, and this is the seventh one. So absolutely love it especially this shade it's a beautiful kind of browny pink definitely get your hands on just one just one and you'll see what i mean um next i want to talk about um the rare beauty soft pinch liquid blush that i've been absolutely loving i do have it on my cheeks right now i have worn this makeup throughout the day and it still stayed put and this is honestly one of the best liquid blushes that I've tried only because it does dry down but it's so creamy and it doesn't take away your foundation or makeup underneath it doesn't disturb it and I just feel like because it's so liquidy and creamy it blends into the skin beautifully and then it dries down and stays put you know it doesn't look patchy it just melts into the skin it blends into the skin and I really 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 love the shade it's a really nice kind of soft peach almost with a little bit of a pink to it as well. This is in the shade Bliss. And yeah, the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, definitely love it. It is a matte finish. They also have a dewy version as well in some other different colors, which I definitely want to get next time I'm in the States. I'm going to like stock up on Rare Beauty because we can't get Rare, Rare Beauty here. But I've been absolutely loving this, um, especially for summer because it does stay put. And blush is one of those things to fade, you know, the quickest. And this blush does not fade. So if you're looking for a blush that does not fade any time of the year, you need to get the Rare Beauty one because it stays put. But like I said, it's not patchy and it doesn't lift anything up underneath. Absolutely love it. My next favorite. OG Max Studio Fix Powder. The reason I love this and I've been using it quite a lot, I mean like I always use this all year round anyway, but I've been using it a lot, a lot, a lot um, in the summer. And the reason why is because it's just that powder that's gonna stay put, if, especially if you have oily skin as well. If you do get really oily in summer, if you do sweat a lot as well, this is gonna keep everything in place. And this I would recommend for all skin types, but yeah, I've been loving this powder because it really keeps my makeup in place. It keeps my foundation in place, especially because I do still wear a mask outside. And when I wear my mask from different powders and foundation I've used before, it always comes off, but this does not come off. This does not transfer. So yeah, definitely if you're looking for a powder or just a product in general, which is not gonna transfer onto your mask um, or in summer, then definitely go for the MAC Studio Fix Powder. It is a powder foundation, just keep that in mind. It is a little more heavier coverage. Next, I've been loving this, and I did not expect to love it that much. This is from Technic, um, and this is their Skinny Mascara. So I have been using this a lot. I have it on my lashes right now. This reminds me of the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, and it is just a very skinny wand, almost has a little bit of a curve to it as well. And it really, really, really just lifts your lashes and gets every single lash. It just gets every single lash because of the wand. And it's so skinny as well, so you can really get in to the root and lift it up. Because sometimes with big brushes, it just, it coats your lashes, but it doesn't do too much to them. Whereas something like this, which is skinny, really can get into every little lash and lift them up. Almost like giving yourself a lash lift 
in mascara so yeah i've been loving this one it's also great for the lower lash line if you have something that you love for the top use that but maybe just get this for the lower lashes if you do struggle to find like a really skinny mascara then you can use something like this and it's super affordable because it's technique so i wanted to shout this one out because i've been absolutely loving it and i think it might be my new favorite mascara so yeah that one is that next i've been loving the huda beauty the overachiever concealer this one is in meringue this one is so good and I never thought I would like it because I don't know I haven't had a good experience with too many Huda Beauty products in the past but I really feel like she does have some good products and this is definitely one of them you guys know I've raved about the Glowish in my last favorites um, but this I've been loving as well the reason I love this concealer is because it is very full coverage a little goes a long way like a little goes a long way and not only that as well but it looks so creamy and full coverage underneath the eyes it's good for spot concealing as well if you have any blemishes if you don't want to you know put too much makeup on in the summer and you just want to do a little bit of a skin tint and then just cover this you need something heavy duty to just cover those blemishes and just spot conceal with this is a great one as well and it still feels super lightweight on the skin as well I don't feel like it's heavy it doesn't feel like it's caked on my skin and it does it does have a perfumey scent that's the only thing I mean I can get past it but some people may not like that it is quite perfumey but I mean it is full coverage and creamy it doesn't crease and it blends beautifully into the skin these next two products are also on my skin the first thing i you know what? sometimes i forget and i apologize if i've um, mentioned a product in my last favorites or favorites before sometimes i forget and i just if i've loved it again then i've loved it again i don't think i've mentioned this in my favorites yet this foundation oh my god i think i'm like literally halfway already um i do have it on my skin right now that is the foundation i'm using it is the Relove by revolution super serum hyaluronic acid foundation this one is in the shade f1 and it is so affordable so affordable and so amazing it's probably one of the best drugstore foundation I've, tr I've tried because it is so lightweight on the skin and so creamy it is very identical to the wet and wild photo focus dewy foundation or the l'oreal pro glow it has that same very runny hydrating consistency this is great for dry skin or normal skin if you have oily skin um, you could give it a go but it is definitely more on the liquidy runny hydrating side it does give you a little bit of a sheen it is more of a I would say satin finish I I can't with this foundation I I don't even know where to begin with it first of all it's so full coverage it's so full coverage you just need a little amount it blends beautifully into the skin you can't see where it starts and where it finishes it just blends so seamlessly it almost looks so plumping so juicy on the skin because it does have that hyaluronic acid and it just looks smooth it looks flawless this the consistency is where it's at for me it's so runny but in a nice way and creamy and hydrating it I just no words just no words so yeah it's so affordable get your hands on it next also on my skin um that I've been loving and I did pick it up recently as well and I've used it quite a bit this is the I Heart Revolution chocolate bar uh, bronze and glow palette and this is basically a bronzer and a highlighter palette so i love the bronzer in here as you can see i have used it quite a lot if you can see um i love the bronzer in this i do have the bronzer and highlight on my skin today so that is what the glow is it's this highlighter and also the bronzer with the rare beauty blush so this bronzer first of all well first of all everything is so creamy but the bronzer is like this really cool toned cool toned almost pinky sort of bronze but it's so light so you can just build it and build it and it's never going to look dark or orangey it just gives you a very soft warm complexion when you add it to your skin and also the highlight as well is just a beautiful gold warm light gold highlight really 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 beautiful formulas as you can see they are so 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 smooth and creamy they are not like this powdery cheap formula sometimes i feel like you know with products like this you feel like it's just going to be this cheap formula but they are so creamy and buttery smooth and as you can see it just blends beautifully into the skin 
and I absolutely love how it looks. So yeah, I've been loving this, especially because of the shades. The formula is great as well, but like the shades, if you are fair, I think you'll absolutely love this. If you love gold highlights and you're looking for a bronzer that isn't too orangey, definitely get your hands on this one. And it's so small and compact as well. So you, I would take this all the time when traveling, whenever I do travel next. Hopefully so. Another product that I've been loving, and sadly you can't get your hands on this, but they do have something very, very similar. It's probably literally identical. That is the MAC um, Tender Talk Balm, lip balm, and this is a lip balm with a tint to it. So this is very similar to the MAC Glow Play lip balms. It's the same thing. So this is basically a lip balm that gives you a little tint of color. And I have been absolutely loving this. I remember loving this when it first came out, but I recently went back to it because sometimes I don't want to go for a lipstick underneath my mask. I just want like a balm with a little bit of color. So when I do take my mask off, my lips still look juicy and glossy without ha having to add lip gloss because, you know, lip gloss and masks, they don't go together. So I wanted to have something, you know, glossy and juicy still with a tint. And I've been going back to this. So yeah, the Glow Play Lip Balms from MAC is the exact same thing. I We'll see if I can find a color similar to this and leave it in the description box down below along with everything else. This one is in the shade um, Play With Me and it's basically like a beautiful almost watermelon pink. It does look um, very bright here but of course it does sheer out which I absolutely love. And yeah if you're looking for a lip balm just just going to give you that luscious glossy sheen to the lips with a tint of color but you don't want it to be too you know you don't want too much color on the lips definitely go for the MAC um, glow play lip balms i know this isn't it but it's the same thing so yeah i've been loving this one anyway or even if you don't want to go for the mac ones you know even something like this um all year round or, or for summer as well just looks super juicy on the lips and yeah it just looks so 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 nice so i've been loving this one as well and i just wanted to shout that one out if you do have it maybe you could bring it back out as well and start wearing it and next we're going to talk about perfume so i have been loving the joe malone velvet rose and oud um perfume this one i only use on like special occasions but because i've been going out a little bit more in summer um date nights and that kind of stuff i have been reaching more for this again i do have some other perfumes that i absolutely love but i feel like this is the one that i've just gone back to and this is just a beautiful strong like oud rose scent exactly what it is exactly what it says anyway i don't have the notes but i have the notes up on the screen and it's just a very it's a very unique scent so it might not be for everyone but if you ever do walk past joe malone definitely go in and smell it it's the velvet rose and oud oh my god it's to die for it's one of those uh perfumes that just suck you in so like if someone's walking past they're gonna smell you and i like that kind of um strong perfume scent and it doesn't give me a headache because perfumes give me headaches this one i can definitely do with but you do need one or two spritz and you're good to go i've been loving this the barbie and ColourPop hot hand mirror i never used to use hand mirrors because i just have a mirror in front of me but i cannot tell you how easy life is using like an actual handheld mirror when you're doing brows when you're doing eyeliner when you're doing anything up close a handheld mirror is a must for me now and i did recently pick up the also the ColourPop cherry hand mirror which will be in my haul or if you've already seen it then i did pick up that one as well and i i definitely want to get more hand mirrors so if you guys have any recommendations of where i can get like super cute hand mirrors and um, that aren't too big then let me know uh, but i've been loving this one and i wanted to shout out because i think they still have it in stock and yeah i mean it's it's still a favorite even if it's not like makeup related it's still a favorite you've got you guys have seen it in my videos like i constantly use it so i wanted to shout out that one because it's just so super cute and who wouldn't want it so yeah definitely get your hands on it i'll leave it down i'll leave it down below as well. the thing i've been loving is the miss peachy hair removal uh device so this is an ipl ipl hair removal device and they did kindly send this to me as well this video is not sponsored but i did just want to shout out this product as well because i have been using it for the last few weeks and honestly it's made such a difference in my hair growth i have used it on my legs which i'll include like a little footage as well but i have used it on my legs and i did have laser hair removal done a few years ago maybe four years ago now and i had it done on my 
whole body but certain areas like the legs and the arms and private area and stuff like they still grow back they don't grow back as much but they still grow back and so I don't want to go and pay like another thousand something for doing it again so having like an IPL device at home and just doing it at home is like so easy it hasn't stopped growth completely just yet of course like I still need to keep on using it and then I'll update you guys in the future but um, in terms of it growing back it doesn't grow back as quickly if that makes sense like it slows down how it's growing it's painless you don't feel anything there is a seven intensity levels as well so you can go from one I would recommend starting out with one and then build it up gradually over the few weeks over a few months to start building up the intensity to make sure you're actually zapping those hairs and getting rid of them this is what it looks like and I have mine on the big head it comes with a small head as well which basically what that means is you can change them out so the bigger head is for the body and then the smaller head is for the face it does have the flash as well when you're actually using it and I did use mine in certain areas because I don't have hair growing all over my leg so I just did it on the certain areas where I know my hair grows and you do have to shave beforehand as well it comes with all the instructions anyway it's also something not to just use straight away it is a long term process so which is good because then that means your hair is going to slowly grow out thinner so it's not going to be as as thick and also it's not going to grow as much so yeah definitely check them out i'll leave a link down below i wanted to thank them for sending this product to me again not sponsored but i've been loving it so i think that is it for my july favorite sorry if it wasn't a lot and i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you've been loving for the month of july or just in general leave me all your thoughts down below or your comments down below as well and give this video a thumbs up and until next time i'll speak to you guys all in my next video Bye.